Hi, welcome to Variety Tech Today. I thought I'd review a piece of very popular electronics that, coming out of the analog era of the 90s and early 2000s, uh, many people were rightly interested in. Um, Wolverine has made a number of digitizing devices. Some are better than others. Um, the one I'm re reviewing is the 14 megapixel all-in-one. <laughs> Now I'm going to say right off the bat, I do not recommend it. But I realize that th uh, different people have different priorities and may be happy with it. But I'm just going to give you an honest review and show you actual results and tell you why. But I can fully understand why some people might favor convenience over other priorities. And that's what this really is about, convenience. Again, it's all in one. It has a small LCD preview screen so you can see what you're scanning. Um, you can do different sizes, the most three most common sizes of photo prints that you can lay on the glass cover and it has alignment guides so that they'll be in the right spot. You don't need to have a computer, um, you don't even need to have a TV but you can, you have the audio video output if you want but obviously you're not going to get the high resolution results through that but you'll get a idea of what you're scanning. So it's also worth noting that this is not actually a scanner. What this device is, is a box with a light in it and a cheap little digital camera. What it's doing is snapping a picture of whatever media you want to digitize. A scanner will read line by line and make a much higher quality image of of what it's digitizing, whether it's a slide or a picture. But this is so much faster because it's uh, snapping a picture with a point-and-shoot uh, camera lens. However, the flip side of that is because it's a cheap camera lens, it uh, isn't as quick as it could be. It does take a little bit of time to focus, so you can't just snap it and then take your picture out. I tried that, and uh, they ended up streaky, so you gotta just let it sit, wait till it's done, and then it, uh, it'll the picture will be taken. But it's still faster than a true scanner. So as for negatives and slides, these are the same size, they're 35 millimeter film. One is a positive, one is a, well, negative. I'll show you a couple examples of that. And I will also compare it with a true scanner that I have. The scanner that I use is from Pacific Image Prime Film. But you can also get uh, all-in-one scanners like with printers or standalone scanners. Uh, you know, large full-size ones, but keep in mind a normal scanner will not work with a slider negative. It has to be the bat backlit kind that is specifically for film like that. Otherwise it'll come up dark. So anyway, here's a picture of a, a tree it looks like. This was a slide. There it is on the Wolverine. And there it is on the true scanner. And here's a, a slide of Ewoks. I, this came bundled with uh, some vintage Ewok action figures from the 90s. They actually had a series that came with real 35 millimeter slides. It was interesting. So anyway, here's on the Wolverine. And here's on the True Scanner. Now because you're taking these uh, slides or negatives and putting them on this uh, guide that goes into the machine like closer to the lens, it's actually not terrible. So slides and negatives are what this machine does best. But as you could see from the results, it's definitely not as good as a true scanner. But it's not terrible either and I can fully understand why someone would prefer this method to if they had a lot of family slides they want to digitize and they're, they're really not into like the, having the best of everything that's I can fully understand that priority but now moving on to photo prints this is a different story you lay your photos on the glass on the top of the device and it snaps the picture from up there and le let me tell you despite the 14 megapixels the resolution is atrocious has nothing to do with the screen being clean or anything like that. 
I'll show you some comparisons. Here's a far away picture of some people outside. Uh, this one is from a true scanner, flatbed scanner, a standard affordable one. And here's that same photo print uh, scanned, if you will, on the Wolverine. Zoom in a bit and you can see the lack of detail. Here's another example. You can see uh, the true scanner is, uh, of course, very sharp, and the Wolverine just isn't. There's, you're losing a lot of detail, and the 14 megapixels that it technically has is completely wasted. So unless you care very little or for some reason it isn't a priority about your printed photos, I would definitely not recommend this machine to scan them or anyone like it. If the slide quality is good enough for you, as you've seen examples of, um, and you need that s the speed of scanning is much more important to you, then sure, maybe you can use it for that. But uh, otherwise, if you don't mind the scan time taking a little bit longer, you'll get so much better results with uh, other products that really don't cost that much more. Okay, see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.